Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So guys, there are hot spots all around the globe when it comes to UFO sightings. And one of the most interesting places that's always so intrigued me is Peru. And for several reasons, but one of them is the Nazca area with the Nazca lines. You know, if you guys are not familiar with the Nazca lines, it's really pretty amazing to see the images and to realize how, how large they are. And so here we're seeing Nazca. We have Lake Titicaca over here on the border. And that is an interesting area as well. And Cusco. And we have the capital of Lima over here. So when we look at the Nazca images, they appear to be just simple drawings of, you know, in some cases, everyday animals and insects. And so what's the big deal? It's the big deal is the fact that the only way you can make out what they are is from space. That is the big deal. And when we read into the Anunnaki legends, the Sumerian legends, we learn that there was a major area over here in South America that they had uh, a, a established in a base in this area. And the stories are very, very interesting to read. And when we think about the fact that you could only see these images and make out that there, there is even anything there from a high altitude, which obviously, according to mainstream science, they didn't have the technology to look from space. They didn't have drones. They didn't have satellites, according to mainstream technology, uh, mainstream science. And yet these images are there. And there we got a guy waving. Who is he waving to? Who is he waving to? Really interesting. We see the monkey here. And this is also an interesting spiral there with the monkey's tail. Perhaps indicating a labyrinth in some ways. So these are some of the images that are there. And this is how they are laid out in different areas. Again, they cannot be seen from the ground. You cannot make them out from the ground. So we see there's some interesting trapezoids over here, which happen to look a lot like a lot of the ships that we see depicted. Uh, if any of you have ever caught any of the um, videos I have done on medieval art with these trapezoid pictures floating by in the sky, sometimes dropping objects or things into the air. So these are curious. Are they basically recognizing the fact that there are beings that come by in ships of this uh, size, shape, dimension? Otherwise, we see the monkey, we see a dog, we see the astronaut waving, a compass, or is that a compass? Because when you look at this again, this looks a lot like the medieval uh, photos that we are talking about. And we'll do a comparison in an upcoming video. We see a whale, we see a parrot, we see a heron, we see a tree, we see the hummingbird, the spider, the condor, and the star. Very interesting, really. Well, archaeologists just identified 143 new Nazca lines, and this was due to AI. So as AI comes online and is able to analyze things to a much deeper level, much faster than humans, we are going to be getting a lot of interesting discoveries. And so we have a trove of newly documented geoglyphs. It includes another humanoid figure identified by artificial intelligence. Peru's Nazca lines a series of huge geoglyphs etched into the coastal plain in the country's southern desert have mystified archaeologists since they were first spotted nearly a century ago. The roughly 200 square miles stretch of land is best known for its carvings, the geometric shapes, birds, monkeys, and humanoid figures. Thanks to new analysis conducted by an international group of researchers, scientists now have even more glyphs to marvel at. As a press release from Japan's Yamagata University states, the team has uncovered 143 previously unseen etchings, including the first Nazca line identified using AI. According to the statement, archaeologists led by Yamagata University's Masato Sakai 
have been studying the Nazca lines created between 200 BC and 500 AD by members of the Nazca culture. Since you know, 2004, they've been studying these things in depth. Initially, the researchers analyzed the area largely through satellite imagery, but as of 2010, the team has spent time in the field studying the strange desert markings. The field work led to the discovery of new Nazca lines, which feature 40 biomorphic glyphs depicting animals, plants, or people. Per Eliana Magra of the New York Times, Sakai and his colleagues collaborated with IBM to teach an artificial intelligence system named Watson to find glyphs overlooked by humans, and the team trained the AI's neural network with images of previously identified carvings. So finding the new glyph proved difficult even with Watson's help, as Ahisa Sakura, Sakurai, a researcher with IBM Japan, tells The Verge's James Vincent, researchers have identified fewer than 100 biomorphic geoglyphs at the site to date. Each is fairly unique, making it difficult to teach AI what to look for when tracking down hidden shapes. Sakurai says, we specifically built techniques in the deep learning framework to learn English and distinguish between different patterns and sizes of the geoglyphs. And this is the spider. So this is 435 kilometers south of Lima, the capital of Peru. And so it, Watson ended up finding more than 500 potential glyphs, according to Science News. And so it's, it's just fascinating to see this. Why did people build it? Why did they do this? Why build, you know, make these images that can only be seen from the sky unless you were trying to get the attention of those from the sky? And again, Peru is a hotbed of UFO activity. And of course, we have Machu, Machu Picchu, which is an amazing, amazing site. And... Um, you know, this is one of the areas that I am so wanting to get to. It's on my bucket list. I, I want to go explore Peru. Uh, I have a friend that grew up in Peru and grew up close to Cusco and has shared with me that it was an everyday thing to see UFOs there. Everyday thing. And also the fact that it is known to be an entrance to the inner earth cities. And they have their own legends of people going into the inner earth and beings going into the inner earth there. This is definitely a portal of sorts. And uh, there have been so many UFO sightings, some uh, completely unusual and bizarre, others rather typical in this area. It is most definitely a hotbed for UFO activity. I would say it's um, every bit as hot as some areas, you know, up in the U.S. Uh, of course, we have the extraterrestrial highway in, in uh, Nevada. You have Roswell in New Mexico. We have, you know, Yakima is a really uh, hotbed up in Washington as well. Mount Shasta, which we were just at. Lots of UFO sightings. Lots of um, cases of these inner earth beings being sighted and unusual contact and of course bigfoot sightings as well a lot of this paranormal activity goes together and you know again it's just com not completely understood yet exactly what it is and of course all, and many of us have our own strong opinions as we see there's often ufo sightings over here at machu picchu and it is obviously an amazing sight, as you see here. Now, we have caught a lot of these drones, and I think these drones are probably in the sky everywhere. And, and you know, are they, are they drones that are, are owned by just normal people like you and I know? Are they military drones? Possibly. Um, if they are, they are way advanced, but then again... We know that there's technology that the military has that is far beyond what they're showing us. Or are these drones, perhaps, that are you know being used by inner Earth or ET or interdimensional beings as well? As we see, I've and this is again in Peru, but I've gotten very similar ones here in Nevada and in California. Uh, often, I've seen them on on camera, and here's one of those cylindrical tic-tac ones that many associate with uh, reptilians or draco 
And here you see a UFO emerges from a portal over ancient Machu Picchu in Peru. And yeah, this is definitely one of those hot spots. And as I shared, this is on my bucket list. I want to get there. I want to do videos from this area. I, uh, I know this is definitely a hot spot. And coincidentally, it is one of the areas associated with the Anunnaki here in the Americas as well. And then here we see here, Peruvian Air Force confirms UFO sighting over Lima. Yes, there was something there. No, we do not know what it is. It wasn't us. Now, that's happened often lately. And, and other, uh, besides the, the U.S. Navy, uh, have had these revelations and shared with the public that there are things there. Other governments have shared that, that they can't identify. And, of course, the U.S. Navy has come straight out. And said so recently as well. So many believe disclosure is underway right now. And uh, our reality 10 years from now, maybe even just 5 years from now, might represent something more akin to Star Wars perhaps. So my friends, as always, I look forward to your comments. I want to invite you to come and help us um, on Patreon. If you're so inclined, just a dollar a month could help the channel stay up and afloat as we go through these times of increased censorship. Uh, or a one-time donation to Ko-Fi does help keep us going. I hope you guys are subscribed to EE Arts, our second channel as well. And as always, my friends, keep your eyes to the skies. Stay safe and prepared. God bless and namaste.